Buddy's Cannabis, located at this address in Renton, 420 Sunset Boulevard, has been hit with robberies twice in recent months, and they are now adding private security as a part of their budget to protect themselves. The feeling inside Buddy's Cannabis is a positive one, drawing plenty of customers on a busy Friday afternoon. The owner, Miles Kahn, wants to keep it that way. It's been great, you know, both for us and in general for the state of Washington uh, until recently. He's referring to recent pot shop break-ins and robberies throughout western Washington. This week, a suspect was shot and killed at a marijuana shop in Covington, something Khan's shop experienced firsthand. But when you have a gun put in your face or the back of your head, it's really freaked them out, yeah. They were robbed in December and January when he says suspects walked in with weapons. And this sign that he is required to post outside his business doesn't exactly help deter criminals. We have it posted right on our door that there are no guns on the premises. So that's almost like an invitation to the, you know, these people who have ill intentions. Cash, drugs and guns. A trifecta that Khan says makes cannabis shops feel like sitting ducks. We have our own internal security un unarmed previously and it seemed to have been enough, you know. But when you have three guys rushing in with semi-automatic weapons, not much you can do. Khan said enough is enough and hired private armed security to protect his business. It's expensive, he says. Uh, but again, necessary, you got to keep the public and the staff safe. Khan's now looking toward the government for a long-term fix. Hopefully get the feds to legalize it on a national basis, which would keep us from being an all-cash business. But these things don't happen overnight. Khan says ideally he would like to see the Washington State Legislature provide tax credits for cannabis businesses in the state to help offset the costs of some of this security. In Renton, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.